This is the People in Profit Podcast, featuring your host, Ness Velasquez, a multi six figure industry influencer and investor. Learn tips, ideas, and strategies as we cover various topics and interviews you can use to experience further financial increase. Let's get started. Wow. So we're already in 2019. Like everyone, I'm excited for the start of this new year. We are officially here, and we've been live at this podcast for a year now. You see, time flies when we're having fun or when we are super productive, as you can imagine. Because time flies and time is our most precious asset, I challenge you to take this fresh start as your opportunity to do right. Right now is the time to get your focus on. And whatever we focus on expands, right? They say that we don't really get what we want, but we get what we picture. This is something I shared with my team a couple of days ago, I believe. Now, it all starts with imagination. Ask Walt Disney, all right? Well, you can't really ask him. You know, he's passed away, but this is something that he quoted before. It all starts with imagination. Every invention, every kind of art you could think of all started with an imagination, an idea which led to transitioning into the physical world. It became physical. Now, somewhere along the line, we lost the light in our eyes, the kind of light that we had when we were kids, where we had no filter. People would ask us, what do we want to be when we grow up? And we told them exactly what we wanted to be. An astronaut, a successful entrepreneur or investor, somebody famous. But as we grew older, We allowed other people to place their mental limitations upon us. One example I want you to think of, right? So this is something that I've been sharing for years, basically. But there's this experiment that happened. And what they did is they put fleas in a jar. Now, fleas have the ability to jump over six or seven feet. Those little things, those little insects could jump as high as six or seven feet. So... They put fleas in a jar. They put the lid on it, okay? After a while, after the fleas kept hitting their head on that lid from the inside, after a while, they became accustomed to that, right? They adjusted to that limitation to the point where when you unscrew the lid, now they don't jump as high as they used to, six or seven feet. They jump to where that limitation used to be. And it's the same thing for a lot of us. We get told no over 37,000 times before we reach the age of five. We have so many limitations upon us that as you get older, people are just throwing their limitations upon you. They're throwing their doubts, their insecurity, their fears onto you. Doubt and fear is the biggest killer of dreams. But here's the thing about fear, F-E-A-R, is just false evidence appearing real. Most people, when they face with hard challenges, they give in to that fear, F-E-A-R, forget everything and run. But you're different, we want you to be different, because if you think different and you act different, you can have some difference in your life. I want you to look at the word fear and turn it to something that's meaningful. Turning to something that empowers you. F-E-A-R, face everything and rise. We all suffer anxiety at several points of our lives. We all suffer from nervousness whenever something big is about to happen or a big challenge is about to happen. But what separates the hero from the coward is what we do with those feelings. What separates the hero from the coward is what we do from those feelings. So it's important to get your focus on. Keep the big vision in mind. Because like I said, it all starts with imagination. 2018 was a year of transition for me. I had shifted from being a six-figure home-based business expert to becoming a multiple six-figure trader in the financial markets. Now, both routes require one hell of a learning curve and it has a lot of ups and downs. Now, when you have downs, it hurts, right? It hurts so bad sometimes that when things get a little smoky, it's easy to lose sight of the bigger picture. And that's precisely why I started this podcast, to speak to those who are doing everything in their power 
everything in their power to fight the weight against them. For those who are stepping outside of their comfort zones, I applaud you. But in all reality, when we talk about the comfort zone, what I really mean is the familiar zone. Because there's nothing comfortable about doing the same day-to-day activities that you really don't want to do just so you can get by. There's nothing comfortable about, about that. It's more familiar. That's really what it is. We stick to what's familiar, and we tend to stay away from stuff that, is, that, that are a little different. Now, the feedback I got from some of you that subscribed to this podcast last year was inspiring enough for me to keep it going. 12 podcasts to help people get their focus on. And the bottom line is, just like what Mr. Holton Buck says, you have to believe much bigger, much sooner to really, really have high performer level success. So I'm going to share a couple of New Year's facts with you, and you may find this interesting, you may not. Now, there was a survey of over a thousand people taken in the U.S., and these individuals were asked to share their New Year's resolution. Now, here's the data according to Statista.com. Right, 53% want to save money, 45% want to get in shape. And of course, they shared a bunch of other facts. 25% want more sex, 24% want to travel more, 23% want to read more books, 22% want to learn a new skill or hobby, 21% want to buy a house, 60% want to quit smoking, 50% want to find love. The majority of these things have to do with wanting more time, wanting more financial freedom, period. Time and financial freedom, And, of course, the the ability to be able to enjoy your life. Because when we talk about health, right, why do people want to be healthy? Because they want to live longer. They want more time. It all relates to time and money. Now, here's some more facts. Unfortunately, 80% of New Year's resolutions fail by February, according to Business Insider. Now, why is this? I believe it's because we are creatures of habit. It takes focus, commitment, massive action, and discipline to stay persistent and consistent. The most challenging of those is the commitment and discipline part. Bob Proctor said it best when he was talking about mental paradigms, all right, shifting your paradigm. Discipline is the art of giving yourself a command and sticking to it. And it's similar to how we define commitment, how some of us, some of my partners that I run with, how we define commitment. And that's basically doing what you say you would do long after the mood in which you said it has passed. So I challenge you to be different. Write down your goals with a specific date on it. Napoleon Hill gave us this, the formula in his book, Think and Grow Rich. It's an American classic for aspiring and already established entrepreneurs and investors. Even for people that are not particularly involved in the world of entrepreneurship and investing, this is still a great book. Okay? Now, studies have shown that being clear with your goals and writing them down significantly increases the chances of you achieving your goals. Some experts say more than 30%. So let's go through the six-step formula for writing your goals. Number one, you got to be very specific with the exact amount of money you desire. Number two, determine what you would give in return. There's no such thing as something for nothing. Number three, establish a definite date that you want to achieve your goals by. Number four, create a definite plan. Basically, create your plan of action and act now. See, most people have a ready, aim, fire mentality. So this is why people experience this procrastination. Procrastination is the assassin of opportunity. This is exactly why people have this analysis paralysis. They overthink things to the point where they literally do nothing. So instead of having this ready, aim, fire mentality, have a ready, fire, aim mentality. You just got to learn as you go. Everyone is going to fail at some point. But what is fail? F-A-I-L, your first attempts in learning. So act now. Don't act later. Act now. Number five, write a clear, concise statement of the money you desire, what you will give in return. Write down that specific date that you want to achieve that goal and describe clearly the plan of action that you will use to accumulate it, basically. Number six, read your statement aloud before you go to sleep and when you wake up every morning. I know the majority of of the most successful people I know, a lot of them started pretty much reciting aspirations that they had for themselves, which is pretty much the ability to lie to yourself, to program your mind to attract it. Your vibe attracts your tribe, right? So aspirations are important. So when you write your goals down and you're really, really specific with them and you're reading them every morning and every night, You're programming your mind. You're shifting your paradigm. 
Now, I'm aware that along with already established entrepreneurs and investors listening to this podcast, we do have aspiring ones. Most aspiring ones need direction or at the very least, want some verification. They want to know if they are actually on the right path. And I'll tell you, observe the masses, observe the masses, and pretty much do the opposite. Most people are treading on the path of least resistance. But what they're going to find is that they're going to get where everyone else got. Nothing really different. You just have to roll with the punches. There's no way around failure. Everyone wants to cut corners. But what happens is if you keep cutting corners, you're just going to run around in circles all day, all year. So if you're an aspiring entrepreneur and you don't know how to do it. You don't know how to become a six-figure earner or seven-figure earner or eight-figure earner this year. There's several ways that you can go. Grant Cardone pretty much shares this in some of his trainings. You can get involved in real estate, affiliate marketing. You can own a business, get involved in direct sales, network marketing, franchise a business, and get into some investments. But the bottom line is there's always a way to put your money in play. Now, I really wish that grade schools could teach us stuff, but unfortunately they don't. And I find it interesting because in the United States, we're built on capitalism. We're built on capitalism. So pretty much if we were told this, if we were younger, then that would have better prepped us for the future that lies ahead. Now, some of you are listening to this and saying, hey, look, you know, I come from a successful family. I come from, you know, whatever. And I was taught this. Well, that's good for you. But for most people out there, they weren't taught this stuff. We're built on capitalism. So what does that mean? Basically, what that means is this. The more that you can exchange your value for dollars, the more successful you could become. So what product, service, opportunity, invention, what is it that you could come up with, okay, to exchange whatever value that you have for dollars? All you have to do is do that and do more of it. Find a way to become valuable so you can exchange your ideas, you can exchange your value for dollars somehow, some way, and do more of it. Now, 2019 is your year for the taking. It's yours for the taking. So what I challenge you to do is use Napoleon Hill's formula to write down your goals, get more involved with what's pushing you forward towards, towards those goals. You need to commit. Commit right now. Commit right now for the next five years. Commit right now. Most people overestimate what they could do in a year. They underestimate what they could do in five years. You could be quantum leaps ahead in five years through the power of compounding. Let me tell you something. Compounding, shh, the law of compounding works. You don't have to be an investor to know that. It works. We're taking numbers out of the, out of, out of the picture. If you ever read the book, The Slight Edge, it pretty much talks about all the things that you do extra now eventually is going to leave you quantum leaps ahead in the long run. So once again, be, get committed, be committed, be disciplined, take massive action and stay persistent and stay consistent. You can change, you can, you can find a way to turn your passion into a paycheck. And I challenge you to use your imagination once again, like you did when you were a kid, because thoughts do become things. Now, I hope you got some value in this. Subscribe to get notifications of future episodes. I hope you found this valuable. Share, comment, like, okay? Subscribe, right? And I'll see you on the other side.